give you an exclusive behind the scenes look at where I work. Because we're a small police department, we get by with a much smaller lab than you'd see on TV. This little room suits our needs for the moment. Right now we're investigating an assault and I'm checking the suspect's clothing for blood. Like this stain here, I don't think that's blood, it's too orangey. But this dark red one here, I'm going to hit that with some phenophthalene. If the spot turns pink, then our suspect has some explaining to do. It could be his blood, of course. There's no law against that. But the DNA will tell us, one way or the other. And that's positive. We see a lot of firearms in this line of work. I often have to test fire handguns to be sure they work properly and to collect ballistic information. into paper bags filled with cotton batting. It slows down the bullets so that we can examine the tool marks on it. It's not exactly high tech, but it works. Now the information we can get off this bullet can link it to the gun that fired it. Although the science of forensics has improved, people's perceptions of forensic science has changed more than anything. Teresa has to deal with this CSI effect just like I do. It's nice that people have faith in science and it's great that they think CSIs are cool, but now juries expect to see the case of a lifetime every time they walk into a courtroom, and that's just not realistic.